Hello, welcome once again to Stuff and Things, where I like to discuss stuff and occasionally even things. I'm your good friend Bradley, and today is a pleasant Sunday smoke, and I'm enjoying a little bit of this. You might recognize this label. This is the Tabac Manil La Brumuse. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but whatever. It's a very interesting tobacco from the uh, Ardennes region in Belgium, the Semois River Valley. I mentioned that I had gotten it. I did a box opening, video, box opening video recently and showed that I had gotten some of this tobacco. And I just recorded my review for this. So this review for this tobacco will be out this week at some point. It's very unique, very interesting stuff. So it's definitely worth checking that review out. It smokes very fast though. It comes very dry. So you have to pack it very tightly and smoke it very slowly and carefully. Very cigar-like sort of flavor profile. And it's basically a burly varietal that's been grown in just a very unique area, unique conditions. It just doesn't taste like anything you've ever had before, at least in terms of pipe tobacco. Cigar guys might find it somewhat familiar though. Smoking it in my Savinelli Corallo di Mare. One of my favorite pipes, great smoker. Anyway, sip of beverage there. Um, no Seahawks game today, so they're actually playing Monday night, so I'm going to take this opportunity to get some chores done and such. Maybe relax a little. It's a beautiful day in the Pacific Northwest. I've been watching some of the... Uh, nerdy YouTube videos about the new Star Wars movie that's going to be coming out this fall. And I'm not a huge Star Wars geek or anything like that, and I was too young to watch the original movies in the theater or anything, but I was a fan as a child. And uh, I hadn't really looked into too much about the new Star Wars films, but from what I've seen, hmm, might be good. I hated the prequels. I thought they were an, a, an abomination, just a complete an utter destruction of everything that had been built up around the Star Wars universe. George Lucas just shat upon all of that, basically. But it looks like with J.J. Abrams, the new ones might be kind of cool. I don't know, it's, it's funny that when you delve into something like that, if you're more of a casual fan, and then you kind of dip your toe into this weird universe where people spend a, a very large amount of time just going over the minutia of every little bit of information they've gotten about these movies that haven't been made yet, or I guess they've been in the process of being made. It's always interesting to me just how seriously people can take things, and I'm no different. It's just might be different things that I get into and get very, you know, crazy about the minutia of it. But I guess maybe less now than there used to be, but there's a little bit more of a stigma about that kind of thing. You know, if you're, you're a Star Trek geek or a Star Wars nerd. After the three prequels, I wasn't sure how much goodwill was left for the Star Wars brand, but it seems like people are still quite into it. I think this tobacco is pretty much done here. I'm gonna try to relight one more time. We'll see what happens. A little bit left. In terms of channel news, you might have noticed that on a few videos, ads are cropping up. Well, that's an interesting new development. I think several, quite a few Sunday Smokes ago, I talked about the possibility that I might put ads on videos. And I finally went ahead and pulled the trigger. I'm not putting ads on the Sunday Smoke videos. I, I decided that because the Sunday Smoke videos are geared more towards just the subscribers, they're for updates, they're for checking in, for just seeing how things are going, for telling you what's going on on the channel and things like that, I figured I'd keep those ad free. Um, so I posted ads on videos that are reviews, things like that. 
And really, you know, I hope that it's not something that puts you guys off too much because you can always skip them if you want. But if you want to throw a few ducats in my direction, a few doubloons, a few dollars, a few dinero, it could help out because a lot of the things that I review on the channel are, well, a lot of the things I would normally purchase myself anyway, but there are also quite a few things that I purchase simply for review, especially in the tobacco department, knowing that I should review these things or people have requested that I review them. So maybe it could help out a little bit um, to defray some of that cost. I'm not expecting to pull in that much money at all from the channel, but any little bit could help. So if you, uh, I don't know, feel like doing me a solid, you can click on those ads or you can just ignore them completely. And hopefully you won't hold it against me too much that I started putting ads on some of the reviews, but I figured it was about time. Um, other news, just in terms of videos I've got going, like I said, I reviewed the uh, La Brumeuse, the Vincent Manil tobacco. So that'll be coming out. I just recently posted the first part in a two-part series about the AR-15 that I built. Um, it turned out to be very wordy, and I guess I was talking about being nerdy about Star Wars. I was being very nerdy about the components that I was putting on that build in that video. So if you're not in, at, into firearms at all, then you might find it just interminable, but I think, it's, I think it's interesting. It's something that fascinates me. I'm not sure if it's going to fascinate anyone else, but that's worth checking out, maybe. And I'll have part two of that out this week as well. So for this week, I'll have my review of the Semwa tobacco and then also part two of the AR-15 video. But other than that, not much new to report on the channel. I'm still enjoying getting comments, still enjoying just interacting with you guys. I always get lots of good suggestions for tobaccos to review, things like that. So I always appreciate those. And even though it may seem like I'm not getting to those right away, I do write everything down. So anything that you guys suggest, I do write down. It's in a book and I will get to it eventually, unless it's just something completely off the beaten path that wouldn't fit for the channel. But yeah. I'm gonna, uh, I wanna load another bowl of this stuff, I think. It smokes so quickly that it often leaves me feeling kind of unsatisfied because I'm used to a smoke that's like, you know, 30, 40 minutes at least. And this goes, you know, 20 minutes, 15 minutes, it's gone. So I think I might load another bowl of this. One thing I would say, I don't, and I didn't mention this in the review, this has kind of a narrower conical bowl. And I think this does better in a wider, um, more shallow bowl. I think the flavor comes out a little more. So I think I might try that. My Costello um, Sea Rock pipe that I have in that Shape 55 pot, that would have a really good, good bowl for this, I think. So I think I'm gonna do that now. Thank you guys for watching this week. It was nice checking in on you. Nice to know you're all doing great. But until next time, until we meet again, I've been your good friend Bradley. You have been the audience. This has been Stuff and Things on a Pleasant Sunday Smoke. I'll see you later.